everyone so you know how all the makeup gurus have like those little hair bows that just keep their hair out of their face well they're called the kami, P kami pita kami pita hair bows anyway they're made out of velcro and then there's a layer of foam inside and then there's the plasticky decorative part and they just keep your hair out of your face and they don't move and they don't leave marks in your hair like if you were to pin it to the side you don't get that weird dent now a lot of people ask where to find these and you can either get them on ebay or on prettyandcute.com or just on websites but they're actually not that hard to make and you can find all the materials in stores um like i used for a while i used this, this velcro strip um this is hair velcro like you use for like you use for a um velcro hair roller like the natural ones um, if you want, you can wear it. You can just rip it off that roller and wear it straight like this, or you can watch this video, and I'll show you how to make one. So, if you guys are interested in that, stay tuned and keep watching. Okay, so first thing you're gonna need is um, a Velcro hair roller, and I got these at Sally Beauty Supply for I think it was three or four dollars. These, so I'm gonna set that aside. Um, you're also going to need scissors, you're going to need craft felt, you're going to need a pencil, markers, and paper, a needle and thread, don't know if you can see that, and then finally some like fluff. Okay, so um, here is my old bow. As you can see, it's like falling apart everywhere. And I'm probably going to glue this back later, but I'm just going to show you guys how I make mine. Okay, so now what you're going to do is you're going to want to remove the Velcro from your hair roller. And all you really got to do is find this seam right here, jab your nail underneath, and it should come right off. I recommend using regular Velcro for this because it's just not going to stick to your hair. But um, the hair Velcro is made of much bigger, like, I guess, fingers, so it's easier to grab on. And if you look at the texture, it's very similar to the ones, well, the Asian ones. So now I'm just going to go ahead. Now we're going to go ahead and take our felt, transfer the same shape onto our fabric, and then cut that out. And you want to use um, um, um. So now it's the time that we start sewing it together. Okay, so once you've sewn to about here, um, I've made quite a mess of mine, but uh, I encourage you guys to do better than this. Um, you're going to grab your stuffing, and you're just going to start filling it in, just so it gives it a little bit of body and shape. Okay, so now the final project is done. Um, so it looks like on one side, and this is what it looks like on the other. And I'm actually going to go ahead and define this bow shape, because you can't really tell that it's a bow. It just looks like a giant, weird blob shape. So now I'm just going to take the marker instead. And I'm going to do this as gently as I clear when you go over the, the stitching. And there you go. I don't know if you can see the marks I made. Here's the really obvious one which I'm going to regret later. I'm going to try and see if I can hide that. But now like, I'm going to go back in with my needle and thread and sew all the way through to the other side just so I can get that bow shape back in.
Okay, so I finished sewing around. As you can see, there is a difference. Um, it's more defined, and it's also a little more lumpy. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but I actually liked the look of the marker, so I went ahead and darkened that in. And to cover up my ugly, ugly, ugly stitching on the outside, I'm just taking a black marker, and I'm going around the edges. Now I'm just going to finish cleaning up the edges. I'm going to take my scissors and trim off all these little loose threads that happened from when I, um, I was hand sewing. And so there you have it. There's your final finished product. Um, I'm going to go ahead and adjust this. And then you guys can see, you just slide it into your hair and give it a pat. And it stays. It doesn't move. And then when you pull it out, it's just plain and simple. Um, I'm going to decorate it a little bit more and show you what the end result is. Um, I'm going to do some rhinestones on it to make it really sparkle. Okay, so here's the final product. Um, I just went and put some rhinestones on it. And they're the heat set ones by Tulip. Um, and just for comparison, here's my old one and then here's the new one. I'm going to turn them sideways. It is much bigger. And you do need a little more um, force to get this to stick to your head. Like, watch. I'm going to take this one, and it's just going to slide it on, and it stays. For the one I made, you're just going to slide it on, and for the most part it stays, but um, if you want a little bit more, I'd press it down, and then it doesn't move very much. Um, and, you know, this is just something to keep your hair out of your face while you're doing your makeup or doing chores or whatever you need to, you know, nothing in the way. Another thing is that... If you guys want, you can use just the Velcro. Um, cut it into a smaller shape or keep it this size, and it works just fine. Um, if anything, you get more hair out of your face. I use this when I'm at home and I've got my hair tied back and I just need to clean, and I just don't want anything escaping, and it's got pretty good hold. So um, let me know if you guys like this, and I'll see what other tutorials I can come up with. Um, this is actually the first one I've made during the video you guys saw. That was the entire first thing I made this. Everything was based on theory. But um, it, I think it came out pretty well aside from overstuffing it and having really bad stitching on the side because I've always been a terrible hand sewer. So yeah, let me know what you guys think.